What's up guys, today we're going to be going over how to fish efficiently in Destiny 2. That is a real sentence I just said. I was never expecting to say that in my life, but we fished a lot on day one. I'm making this at the end of day one. And at first, maybe like you, we were pretty confused of what was going on and making it work or not work. And in this video, hopefully I will clear up a lot of that stuff. And a lot of this information will be based on facts, but there's also going to be a lot of assuming because it is day one and we don't have enough data to like no percents and stuff like that. So first off, once you complete the quest to get the fishing tackle, you'll have to get bait. And to get bait, you basically do anything in the game like most seasonal currencies. The way we did it, because we you know we're lunatics, is for our lost sectors, which give three or four. And we did the one in the EDZ and did it really fast as a team. And we got like 100 in like 30 minutes or so. But if you're not crazy like us, just do the seasonal activities to get the new loot. And along the way, you'll get bait. Then once you're done, go fish. And right now in the game, there's going to be three places you can fish. The EDZ, Throne Road, and Nessus. But if you see, it says increase activity detected in the outskirts, the EDZ. I'm not sure if that's a daily or a weekly rotator. But I'm assuming in that spot, you have higher odds of catching more and better fish so that's where we were today and when you're fishing all you have to do is click the button depending on what your interaction button is on controller or keyboard and once it gets pulled down if you click fast enough you'll get a perfect catch if you're a little bit slow you'll get nice catch in the kill feed you'll see it and if you're too early where you're just like spamming it or too late it will consume your bait and not catch any fish and once again, I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that a perfect catch will be slightly better odds at higher tiers of fish than a nice catch. And obviously, the early or late doesn't give you a fish at all. So never try to go for that. But I'm assuming perfect catch is slightly higher odds. And the window to get the perfect catch isn't that narrow. Pretty easy to do every single time. And while fishing, there's going to be four different rarities of fish you can catch. There's going to be green, blue, purple, and exotic just like the loot in Destiny 2. And while fishing in the buff bar, you'll see focused fishing with four bars you can fill up. So what is that all about? Well, whenever you catch a purple, legendary, or yellow, exotic fish and pick it up, you, for the entire group fishing, you will increase that bar a little bit higher. And every time you fill up a new bar, you'll get some text in the kill feed, like the fish are gathering, the fish are in a frenzy. And as you get more and more bars, you'll get higher and higher chances of getting the legendary and exotic fish. So with no bars filled in when you first start, you can get legendaries, but it's going to be pretty rare. So as the entire group collects more and more legendaries and you get a bar, I think once you have at least two of the four bars, you can begin to potentially catch exotic fish. Obviously, once you get the third and fourth, it'll be higher and higher. But all three of the exotic fish we caught today were with at least two plus bars. And another thing to note about fishing in any of the three locations is once a pug vent starts, which all three locations are in a zone that can have pug vents, it will despawn the fishing pod, which I think is intended. That way, as you build up your focus fishing and get the higher odds of the legendary and exotic, it kind of is like a soft reset. That way you don't have like only the time to fish with those odds. So what is the point of fishing in Destiny 2? What is the reward? Well, the green and blues will just be the sonar station reputation when you turn them into the aquarium. But the exotic ones can turn it into exotic armor. I'm not sure about weapons. I think it's just armor. Or I've also heard uh, Ascendant Shards, but I've not seen one of those myself. All three of ours were armor pieces. Then the legendary fish can turn into new seasonal weapons. And it seems like roll drops too. I'm not exactly sure what is all in that loot pool. I'm sure we'll figure more out about that as more people fish. But I also got a salvage key to open salvage chest at the end of the salvage activity. So that is the whole gist behind fishing. And some other things to know about fishing is if you go to the challenges in the Season of the Deep ones, you have this one right here. The only one that will help you fish more efficiently and to unlock this one, you have to catch 25 fish once the pond is at the max efficiency and once you do that when fishing with bait you have a chance to have your bait return after catching a fish so that obviously will make it more efficient to fish causing to use less bait over time one other thing we found is you can actually fish without bait and it's unclear what that even does from my experience i only got greens and like the occasional blue so i'm assuming you can't get 
purples and exotics with outbait or at the very least it's like such a low percent chance that it's gonna be extremely rare and basically never happen so yeah that was my quick guide on fishing in destiny 2. overall the way to do it officially is get a bunch of bait ready then if you want to be completely optimal you want to wait until after a pug event happens that way you have the most amount of time until the next one begins and be in a decently large group that way everyone getting legendaries will build up the focus fishing and get you to the like third and fourth bar as fast as possible with the most amount of time before the next public event. There'll be no video tomorrow because I'm going to be out of town until Friday morning. I'll be back in time for the dungeon and should be making a video that day of the new dungeon exotic. And I will be pretty busy this weekend too, but I don't plan on missing another day outside of Thursday. So hopefully on Friday we'll start our daily uploads and hopefully enjoy Season of the Deep. Anyways, like usual, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.